Which I mean, hey, nothing wrong with being a young Star Wars fan. Nothing at all. That doesn't automatically make you an idiot either. In this in this case, and you know, just happen to make, you know, you know, just happen to be an idiot saying this is 23. But while doing research for a Gina Carano video that I'm working on currently, I ran across this idiot. Yeah, she uh she put out a tweet that basically said if you support Gina Carano and her alt-right Looney Tunes um whatever that then you're not allowed in our star wars community what what the fuck something like that like what first of all your star wars community this is this is what's wrong with the star wars fans currently in my opinion and this person um woman i'm assuming a woman um represents everything wrong with the current state of Star Wars and Kathleen Kennedy. This uh, this person is obviously, <laughs> obviously I'm, I'm trying to be too negative because she's more of like a representation of, um, of you know the fan base right now, but there's a lot wrong here, like a lot wrong. And as you can see, she, um, her Star Wars community um, doesn't support her. She's uh, 23 years old, uh, first of all, which means she was born after the year 2000. So yeah, this is, you know, but anyway, so, so you know, I mean, which I mean, hey, nothing wrong with being a young Star Wars fan, nothing at all. That doesn't automatically make you an idiot either. In this, in this case, and, you know, just happen to make, you know, you know, just happen to be an idiot saying this is 23. But normally uh, being young doesn't make you necessarily dumb, but, in this uh in this case she's 23 and she's acting like star wars is her community like she's the gatekeeper i've never even heard of this person i'm a big star wars fan you know like like most people i grew up watching star wars and yeah i wasn't born when the first movies came out but i did watch them on vhs and grew up and watched um, the prequels and then you know the sequels and and you know up until uh, mandalorian season three pretty close to everything star wars had put out up until that point I didn't finish Mandalorian season three. It was it was rough, but um, but anyway, so she is going to she has the 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 balls to say that if you support Gina Carano, then you're not a real Star Wars fan. Is basically what she's saying. But I honestly believe the opposite. If you don't support Gina Carano, you're probably not a real Star Wars fan. And I don't consider this to be a real Star Wars fan. This uh, th this is probably. The uh, like the representation of ignorance right now, like just overall, we're in a lot of fandoms, Marvel included. I mean, even DC to you know to a point. I mean, real realistically, all the fandoms really, um, because you have people like this that are literally going to say if you don't support this actress, that this actress that literally was in Star Wars properties, then. Then, I mean, you're crazy. And, and the thing, let's also keep in mind, I can't remember her exact tweets, but Gina Carano put out. But, uh, but she had, um, I'm working on the video right now where she had taught, you know, basically alluded to the bots, you know, the the bots on, you know, Twitter and the social media and then all these like smaller outlets keep, you know, would pick, that, you know, pick things up. I mean, that sort of thing. I'm sure you've heard about this stuff before. And, and this, and so, you know, Gina Carano has recently put this out. And so I guess this was like in response to that, that she's like, if you support her, you know, but I mean, this probably, this person, uh, this Star Wars gatekeeper is probably extremely uneducated to the way the world actually works. Like the way, like things truly work in the real world. I mean, this is somebody that's 23. I don't know anything about them, but I mean, they're, they're, they're 23. And they probably believe that their opinion is the end all be all. And then they're gonna then they're gonna say that. And then, you know, the next next, you know, tweet or whatever, they're gonna they're gonna say, Oh, I love everybody. Really? Like how like really love everybody until they disagree with you, right? That's exactly what that is. And she's she goes on talking about transphobic stuff in some of her tweets. I don't really like dive deep into this and I don't know man, I'm sure she does like TikTok or something she just looks like the top like this looks like somebody that showed my TikTok feed and I would just scroll past immediately 
because it, you know this is just like I'm sure everything she says is embarrassing herself and I'm sure at some point she's going to look back and realize how embarrassing this was and I believe that she probably really believes that she's right which is sad and that kind of sucks because Kathleen Kennedy this is the type of fans they want and I mean really I mean let's be real here I mean, not that there's anything wrong with, you know, being a female Star Wars fan, but I mean, Star Wars at one point was mostly male stuff. And then like, and you know, so she probably doesn't even realize that uh, like a lot of the stuff that she's trying to, you know, like, like gatekeep. I mean, how are you going to gatekeep this stuff from, from, from a lot of these males that literally are like, you know, probably like 40, 50 years old that are been watching this stuff their entire life. And then you're going to come in and basically say, uh, the Star Wars community doesn't want you. You don't. You don't represent the Star Wars community. You really represent really anything. Like, and it sucks. I mean, that this is the state of Star Wars. I mean, Kathleen Kennedy. I mean, I got a lot of videos coming out here. I mean, we got Kathleen Kennedy. I mean, some some big leaked emails are coming. This is a Gina Carano gate stuff is really like happening, and there could be some like some big emails coming out here soon. Uh, really showing the true nature of Gina Carano, or sorry, Kathleen Kennedy and Gina Carano, like some of the stuff going on uh, behind the scenes with that. I mean, Kathleen Kennedy has literally ruined Star Wars at this point. And I mean, she tried to, you know, make it, you know, a female-led type of thing or whatever, and then they turn around to the same thing. Marvel, none of it's working out at all. Like, not at all, man. And you're and because you're doing it so badly, you're doing it so badly to the point that now, now as soon as people like see this stuff, they just roll their eyes because they know it's going to be bad. I mean, look at, look at Echo. I mean, <sighs> Echo. Okay, it's, you know, like this is like Marvel, but still, it's under the same umbrella of stuff. Echo. All the episodes are going to drop the same day. They've never really done that. I don't think they've ever done this with the Star Wars or Marvel show on Disney Plus, where they just drop them all the same day, like the whole series. And I mean, so that tells you there's no faith in this show, which is sad. And Echo is a choice as a character. Sure, put her in something else. Put her in like a Daredevil show or something, right? That's where she belongs, but not as her own show. And speaking of Daredevil, like there's a lot with that too. Uh, they basically <laughs> seem like they have scrapped the whole Daredevil show. I mean, this is crazy. And Gina Carano, people, people like, like the thing was, I remember at the time even, like seeing all this and there you had you of course you had some people like this this thing like this person is going to like probably go out and be like oh Gina Carano you so wrong or whatever they're you know like tapping on their keyboards or whatever but then the majority of the people were like really like you fired her over that I mean this was like like Mandalorian was a hot property at this time I mean this was like a hot thing you know and for her to get fired from that was a pretty big deal and I mean really Gina Carano, um, as an actress, ha had a pretty good fan base that time. And I remember her fan base really growing after that because people were standing with her. I mean, this was silly. And this was like, and I feel like a lot of people, I mean, especially now, they're sick of this whole cancel culture crap. I mean, sure, if somebody does something really bad, like, you know, some like, some actual essay type, you know, like some real stuff, that's different. But you're gonna fire somebody over a tweet. A tweet that really, you know, come on. Really, it's not that bad. It's not like she was out here, you know, saying something crazy. I mean, look at, I mean, some people do say some pretty crazy stuff on, on Twitter. I mean, Mia Khalifa, remember her? She said some crazy stuff. Basically, uh, the whole, you know, like, like put it in a, what pen, you know, turn your phone, tree, you know, you can see more people, you know, but yeah, with the stuff that we'll look that up. I don't wanna go mad in this video, but. <laughs> I mean, there's some stuff out there that, yeah, people, and she didn't get fired from Playboy. But there's some there's some tweets that, yeah, you probably should be fired for, or at least, you know, the you know the whole job thing. Like, maybe, you know, and I can see the company being like, oh, I don't know, I want you to represent this. But Gina Carano, I mean, I mean, if you, if you believe politically differently than somebody else, like, that, that can lose you a job now. And I can lose you a big job, especially in Hollywood, especially at Disney. I mean, Disney is like the peak for that sort of thing. Like, I mean, really, and they treat, and they treat Star Wars 
Star Wars actors and Marvel actors, like, they're mostly expendable. There's a handful, but even now, I mean, look what they did to Luke Skywalker in the movies, right? I mean, I mean, really. Like, I mean, you want to talk about, like, I mean, like, you know, him and Darth Vader were arguably, like, the characters, right? That were, like, the Star Wars characters. You think of Star Wars, think of Luke Skywalker, Darth Vader. Probably Darth Vader, but, I mean, Luke Skywalker as far as a human representation, right? And then they do that crap to him in a movie. Make him look like an idiot. That's sad, and that sucks. And if you remember, he even said he didn't like that. And I don't blame him. I don't like it either. But they're doing the same thing. I mean, and look, I mean, look at Gina Carano. I mean, she wasn't like the star of the Mandalorian, but I mean, she was. She had a big presence on the show. I mean, people knew who she was. I mean, you know, from being a Deadpool and so on. I mean, she wasn't just a random whatever type of thing. I mean, she was, you know, like a pretty cool character in the show. And then they're like. They see some crap she posts on Twitter, and they're like, no. And then this and this girl has the guts to say publicly, if you don't stand with Gina Carano, you're not a Star Wars fan. The Star Wars community doesn't want you. I'm sorry, but the Star Wars community doesn't want that stuff. That's the people they don't want. And plus, it's a community, so you can't just kick some out of an out of a out of a online community. I mean, this isn't like like a physical room you'd be removed from or even like a, you know, like a, like a whatever, like a chat or something, right? I mean, everybody can reject her and they did. And then she can still post all her bull crap and her pictures of her cats, right? I'm sure she's really excited about the Marvel stuff coming up with, uh, I don't know if you guys heard about this, but the stuff they did with Marvels, a whole stream of just like some cats. And it was averaging like uh, for it, for a Marvel promoted, like, Thing for a major movie, it was getting like maybe like 250 average views on a, on their Marvel live stream thing with a bunch of cats just playing. Who the hell thinks of this stuff? And why? This isn't like cool, innovative, whatever. This is like embarrassing. Like honestly, that's embarrassing. And I think Kathleen Kennedy's about to get really embarrassed here soon. And I hate to say it, but I mean. I mean, hopefully, you know, whenever the tide turns, I mean, people like this will look back and just be like, wow, I was a real idiot.